the Prince of Hell. Talia had reached Termite Island. The time had come to begin preparations for the attack on Dolaran and Yaina Overproud. Lakesville fell like a sand castle under the feet of a four-year-old, and afterwards was plundered in accordance with age-old custom. Yet as satisfying as it was, it was just a little fish in a great big ocean of good. For the hydrophobic evil had, from the start, planned to capture the city's amazing fleet, which, as opposed to the horde ships, did not sink like rocks. And so it was that Tanya's creatures were driven aboard and the sails were hoisted. As the smoking ruins of the city slowly disappeared below the horizon behind them, the ship set sail for Termite Island. Even if no one actually saw the impressive sight, as everyone, hey, I said everyone, was focused on the new target. The aforementioned island was the seat of the magician Yaina Overproud. Yaina was pretty and kind-hearted, and therefore, naturally, absolutely despicable. And if that weren't already enough reason to deal with her, she was also one of Thanos' buddies. Yaina ruled from Dolaran. Ah, Dolaran, home of arcane magic and high finance alike. Disgusting. Upon landing, the leisurely evil's army slowly made their way to the financial capital. Yet it would be a good idea to acquire additional, even more powerful allies before facing Yaina. Talia and the remains of the cold-blooded evil's army had reached Termite Island. Here, the egotistical magician Yaina Overproud ruled over her magical financial stronghold of Dolaran. I'll take care of this witch in short order. We'll just build up an army and beat on everything we see, just the way we did before. It's always worked until now, whereby the question arises, what the hell kind of a strange run is that? What's it good for? In fact, that was an excellent question. Naturally, it was a... Oh, um, wait, uh... Um, uh, wait a, a moment... Yes, actually, it was a hellhole. A hellhole is a portal directly to hell. What do we need that for, you ask yourselves? Another excellent question. Ah, here. Because we want to summon a pit fiend, of course. The demonican savvy evil plan to lead a pit fiend to Dolaran in order to have an ace up its sleeve in the fight against Yaina Overproud. An ingenious plan, I must say. Okay, pit fiend sounds good. I can see him now. This guy with muscles of steel and... whatever. How do we do this? Well, first we need a few ingredients, which we then, for the sake of simplicity, just throw into the hellhole. We need corpse dust. However, it has to be from Termite Island, so we can't just scrape it off our zombies, but have to organize some from local graveyards. And toenails? Oh, that's simple. Oh, from a centaur. Fortunately, these primitive beings should have a few camps around here. What a coincidence. Besides that, we also need some worm slime. Ugh, saying it makes me shudder. And spider legs. Hmm, we'll probably find those kinds of creatures here in the underground. Probably a lot sooner than the tense evil would like. <laughs> oh yes, and it also requires a couple of well-aged, but unfortunately live heroes too. Hmm. They're not likely to let themselves be thrown in there just like that, so we need a plan. We can think about that later. The other things will be easier to get. Uh, th through fair trade? Through killing!
payday. Malicious creatures are marching across Termite Island. Men, and of course women, stop them for the Alliance. Uh, well, not the Alliance, but the Alliance of all good folk, and so, uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, stop them for the Goddess. Whoops. Apparently the heroes weren't as stupid as they looked and had noticed the pitter-patter and banging in the underground. As if that weren't enough, Yaina Overproud herself was there. Excellent. That saves me a lot of time and work if I can defeat her right here. Easy, though. We really don't have the kind of budget that lets us burn a story character in a single map. Besides, it was necessary to stop the marching heroes, and then, immediately following a stay in the dungeon's own hotel, Le Prison, sacrifice them to the hellholes. <laughs> Like the Hero Academy on Newbie Island, Termite Island was a place frequented by aspiring adventurers. When rumors of a newly opened dungeon made the rounds, many heroes came from all over the island. These would be unpleasantly surprised to encounter not a nicely balanced beginner's dungeon, but the cruel evil's complex and trap-riddled caves instead. <laughs> had been built. Now, heroes could be imprisoned when they were defeated. This was not only important for sacrificing the heroes the hellhole so desperately wanted, but also because each hero generated some evilness at the end of their stay. <laughs> exactly. 
Let them stew and rot in prison, the miserable do-gooders. Something our quick-tempered protagonist obviously desired. The very best thing, though, was the fact that any heroes that died in prison became skeletons. The necrotic evil immediately wanted to try this out, of course. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Back again! No, stay! <laughs> I am invincible! Well, you're almost. Payday. The first hero awoke in the prison, where his death would generate some wonderful evilness for the disgusting evil. Outstanding. Oh, yes. And some heroes also needed to be sacrificed in the hellhole. Hmm. A tough decision. My secret and mystical counselors, who only I can see, tell me that the demons would love to see some skilled elven archers thrown into the hellhole. Apparently, they need someone to hunt giant mosquitoes. Counselors only you can see? My goodness, as if your split personality wasn't annoying enough. <laughs> I can't really argue with you there. I too wish that Sister Goody Two Shoes would finally go and bother someone else. Dungeon Heart is under attack. beyond the hellhole were almost ecstatic about the wicked evil's sacrifice and threw a few miserable imps through the portal in thanks. Cute. The demon-appeasing evil had sacrificed a hero. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Your dungeon heart is under attack.
the demon appeasing evil had sacrificed a hero. A hero died in the unspeakable evil's prison. In fact, this wasn't such a bad thing. A skeleton rose from the dead hero's remains, which would henceforth serve the homicidal evil without questions or demands. There are enemies in your dungeon. Taking me. A couple of words. Maybe we should see what happens when we throw a few of these elves with the swords into the hell hole. Why? Is that some sort of secret recipe? <laughs> recipe? No idea. <laughs> but it sounds like fun. Damn fair skinned elves. Oh, but. Uh, in the end, they are related to us. Psh, those true cuddling hippies have nothing in common with us dark elves. The arachnomanic evil had torn off the first spider leg, just what it needed for the hellhole. It carelessly threw the rest of the spider and the remaining seven legs aside. Enemies have entered the dungeon. <laughs> Tell me what to do! The dungeon heart is being attacked.
After listening closely, Evil was informed that the demons of the hellhole might be interested in trading a handful of priestesses of the light for one of their female demons. This sounded like a very interesting trade indeed. There are enemies in your dungeon. Defend the dungeon heart. It's payday. Another lemming rushed over the cliff. Oh, I, I mean hero and hellhole, sorry. <laughs> The disgusting evil picked up some ooh, worm slime with the hand of terror and threw it into the hellhole. What a waste. What the hell do they make from that stuff? Baby powder? What a diabolical idea. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Dungeon Heart is under attack.
Another lemming rushed over the cliff. Oh, I, I mean hero and hellhole, sorry. <laughs> There are enemies in your dungeon. For the absolute evil! It was done. The self-sacrificing evil had thrown the required number of heroes into the hellhole, which in turn commented on the fact with a loud, contented belch. Payday! Rumor has it that the demons of the hellhole might welcome the sacrifice of a few little snots. Or maybe it's just because it's fun, too. The experimental evil immediately tried it out. There are enemies in your dungeon. The dungeon heart is being attacked.
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Well, hello, you beautiful demon. Oh, the demons of the hellhole gave the still-to-be-embalmed evil some of their succubi as thanks for the sacrifices. Destroy the good! While the sacrifice, of course, pleased the pit fiends beyond the hell hole, it didn't seem to induce them to send anything in trade. Obviously, they only wanted to make each trade once, cheap scholars. Eager to explore Evil's army had discovered one of the hero's camps. They immediately took care of its demolition. Exactly! Come on! Let's tear the place apart! for the queen of evil. <laughs> I, I mean, for the absolute evil. Of course. I mean, it's not my army. Not yet. Anyway. You're the queen of evil? 
Well, I didn't vote for you. And anyways, Queen of the Damned sounds better to me. Really? Oh, God. Terrible film. Except for the music. But of course, a bit better love story than that bit at Twilight. And still, the Horde, I mean the evil, spread their infestation across Termite Island. Onwards, peoples of the Alliance, drive this riffraff off. Otherwise, the tourists will stay away and we'll have to close up shop. I'll be at your side. Well, l later. I have something important to do in Doloran. All the best, and for the Alliance and so forth. Damn, that cowardly magician is escaping. Just like I hadn't said anything. <laughs> As Yaina got out of Dodge, her subordinate heroes from the nearby village did what heroes did best. Desperately head for their opponents, using brute force and violence with absolutely no finesse whatsoever. The dungeon protecting evil made ready. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Defend the dungeon heart. Enemies have entered the dungeon. While it was fun watching corpses disappear into the hellhole, the demons explicitly demanded live heroes. These had to be pulled from a prison that the anticipating evil had hopefully already built. Yeah. 
The merciless evil's armies destroyed the Hobbit camp with joyful efficiency. These hobbits wouldn't be running off throwing any rings into any lava in any mountains anymore. <laughs> Another lemming rushed over the cliff. Oh, I, I mean hero and hellhole, sorry. <laughs> First centaur had lost one of its toenails. Oh, <laughs> but it was exactly what the absolutely no regrets whatsoever evil needed for the hellhole. The exploratory evil had discovered a sweet little graveyard. Would it be able to find some of the corpse dust it needed here? As a really, really broad hint, the savvy narrator pointed out to the perplexed evil that the graves in the graveyard might just need a hearty smack or nudge to release the valuable corpse dust. There are enemies in your dungeon. Your dungeon heart is under attack. What can I do for you? There are enemies in your dungeon. The dungeon heart is being attacked.
payday. Another lemming rushed over the cliff. Oh, I, I mean hero and hellhole, sorry. <laughs> Enemies have entered the dungeon. has been destroyed. Excellent work. So now let's do it again. Oh, all the poor souls who have to die because of my failure and my lack of willpower. It's so sad. Ha ha ha. Plunder, burn, kill. The fabulous evil's armies had reached the city. Yaina, however, was long gone. And I suppose I'll just have to take it out on the inhabitants. Forward! Oh, haven't you plunged enough cities into ruin? Is that a trick question? I'll admit I could have saved myself the question. You monster! Thanks! One of the hero's mighty champions lived in the city. 
Ronin, whose cliché-soaked name we stole one-to-one -one from another universe, had retired here and was anything but pleased to see evil creatures. However, whoever put that sanctimonious do-gooders lights out permanently was sure to be richly rewarded. Reward or not, it'll be fun. Come on, fight! Command me! Payday. There are enemies in your dungeon.
are you taking me? must die. It's payday. There are enemies in your dungeon. The far-sighted evil had discovered a modest little centaur camp. Like any good nature-loving being, the horrible evil immediately wanted to convert this area into a nature reserve. Of course, that meant that everything that was in the way had to go. <laughs> oh, those poor centaurs. Unfortunately, they had to die for the good of the greater evil. The great champion Ronin hit the floor. The Radiant with Happiness Evil was extremely pleased. At the same time, this anti-heroic act was generously rewarded. And stay down! Another city destroyed. You're so evil and cruel. Thanks, that's really nice of you. I despise you. Ah, careful now. Hate leads to the dark side. <laughs> the strategically brilliant evil had eliminated all the dangers and made the dungeon a fairly safe place. Summoning the pit fiend should now be child's play. The first centaur toenails disappeared into the hellhole. A short neigh could be. It was done. 
The last unicorn, I mean the last centaur, had lost its toenail, which the eager evil quickly sacrificed to the hellhole. As it did so, it realized that every centaur actually had four of the stupid things. Naturally, that would have made the job just a bit easier. But hey, outstanding intelligence was never an employment criterion for evil arch-villains. Either way, the goal had been achieved. that grinding sound, that's a giant worm eating its way through the underground. Another graveyard. Excellent. Here we should be able to find the rest of the corpse dust. Get a move on, people! Loot those graves! Oh, oh, my toenails are curling. Looting graves? How repulsive! Yeah, yeah, go share your moral outrage with someone who cares. The dungeon heart is being attacked. It's payday. Corpse dust, it was done. All of the required corpse dust had been sacrificed to the hellhole. The master this task evil patted itself on the back, right before it remembered the spiked metal gloves. The requisite worm slime has been collected. Oh my, I saw this documentary about liposuction one time, and this stuff was. <laughs> oh, just forget it. Another challenge mastered by the repulsive evil. Done! All of the spider legs have been tossed into the hellhole. The spider hating evil had mastered the assignment without even breaking a sweat. Finally, it was done. The last ingredient had been thrown into the hellhole. The victorious evil patted itself on the back in triumph. The hellhole began to bubble and make fart noises. Something in the middle whirled wildly while it slowly grew. The sound that caused it could be seen as a demonic litany, but upon listening closer, one recognized a joyful whee. It was the pit fiend who now emerged from the whirlpool with a wild laugh. Laugh. Oh. Do I do that? Okay. <laughs> Prince of Darkness, obey my orders. And, of course, those of the absolute evil. You, mighty pit fiend, cruelest of the cruel. His name is Crowley. Uh, I beg your pardon? It says here in the script the pit fiend's name is Crowley. Not that it's important since he doesn't speak, but I just wanted to mention it. All right, Crowley. You, Crowley, will help us defeat Yaina Overproud. We will transform this world into an image of hell. <laughs> Daughter, try to defeat your evilness. 
I still haven't given up on you. Fight it! Use all your willpower. Oh, Father, I'm still here. I'm trying. Well, now and then, at least. But my evil self won't let me talk about it. It refuses to hear my arguments and... It doesn't care what you say. <sighs> How often do I have to tell you? The pit fiend Crowley listened to Talia's inner quarrel and grumbled at Thanos' words. Non-residents of Hell were so annoying. Thanos disappeared after the evil Talia's rant and tirade of insults. She then turned to Crowley. Come, pit fiend. I mean Crowley. Let's get that accursed magician. Yina Overproud, your days are numbered.